Welcome, dear viewers, to another episode of Terrifying Tales. We explore chilling mysteries and haunted locations, revealing their eerie pasts. Today, we venture into the hauntingly historical Myrtle's Plantation. Welcome to Terrifying Tales, and welcome to the Myrtle's Plantation. Welcome, dear viewers, to an episode that promises to send chills down your spine. Today, we bring you to a place that is as steeped in history as it is in hauntings, the Myrtle's Plantation, located in the heart of Louisiana, USA. This grand plantation is no ordinary historical site. It is a place where the past and the present intersect, where time seems to stand still, and where every corner whispers tales of the unexplained. Imagine, if you will, a sprawling estate, its stately architecture a testament to a bygone era. The vast gardens rustle with the secrets of centuries past, and the tranquil pond reflects not just the grandeur of the plantation, but also the spectral echoes of its past inhabitants. But amidst this beauty there is an undercurrent of eeriness that cannot be ignored, a feeling of being watched, a sense of not being alone. This is not just a journey into the past, dear viewers, this is an exploration into the realm of the unknown, an attempt to uncover the chilling secrets that this plantation holds within its ancient walls. This is a journey into the heart of the Myrtle's Plantation, a place where history and hauntings intertwine. Are you ready, dear viewers? Because the Myrtle's Plantation is ready for you. Its spectral inhabitants are waiting, ready to share their tales. So brace yourselves as we take you on a journey into the unknown, as we explore the chilling secrets of the Myrtle's Plantation. Welcome to the Myrtle's Plantation. The Myrtle's Plantation, Louisiana, USA, is said to have been constructed upon an ancient Indian burial ground, a chilling piece of information to set the stage. This is no ordinary tale of a haunted house. It is a saga that intertwines the threads of human history, indigenous culture, and unexplained phenomena creating a tapestry of chills and thrills that is hauntingly enduring. The narrative begins in the pivotal year of 1796. It was in this year that the grandeur of the Myrtle's plantation started to take shape, its grand structure erected on a foundation of ancient mystery. Its formation, deeply rooted and drenched in the annals of history, whispered tales of curses and anomalies, thanks to the desecration of the sacred land it intruded upon. The saga of the Myrtle's Plantation is so much more than a series of eerie happenings, it's a sprawling narrative of how the past and the present inevitably collide. This land, once teeming with vibrant life and resounding with the echoes of ancient civilizations, is now a silent witness to countless tales of hauntings and the inexplicable. It seems as though the spirits of the past have not quite left, hovering in the ether like a spectral echo of a time long gone. From the rustling of the leaves in the ancient trees that encircle the plantation to the soft whispers of the wind that sweeps through its massive halls, the whole place seems alive with echoes from the past. It is as though time has stood still within the boundaries of this historical landmark. It's not just the grandeur of the plantation that is stunning, it's the undercurrent of eeriness that grips every visitor. The stately colonial architecture, the sprawling gardens and the tranquil pond all of these picturesque elements coexist with an unsettling feeling of being watched, of not being alone. This juxtaposition of beauty and fear is what lends the Myrtle's Plantation its unique aura. The stories of the Myrtle's Plantation are not just local folklore. They have been documented and reported by countless individuals, all of whom have experienced the same chilling presence. The unusual occurrences, the inexplicable, the sightings of apparitions, all of these elements lend credibility to the belief that the Myrtle's Plantation is indeed haunted. The Myrtle's Plantation is no ordinary haunted house. It is a site steeped in history, woven with tales of the paranormal and layered with centuries of human experiences. It's a place that has seen the passage of time, the rise and fall of civilizations, and the enduring belief in the supernatural. But the curse of the Myrtle's Plantation is not just a relic from a bygone era. It lingers to this very day, reminding every visitor of the spectral inhabitants that refuse to leave. The echo of the past is not confined to the history books. It continues to resonate in the present, haunting our collective psyche. 
It's a chilling reminder that our past, no matter how much we might wish to forget it, is a part of us. It's an integral part of who we are, and no amount of modernity can erase that. We are, after all, the sum of our experiences, and the inhabitants of the Myrtle's Plantation are no different. The stories of hauntings, of spectral apparitions, of unexplained phenomena continue to persist, passed down from generation to generation. This serves as a chilling testament to the enduring power of the past and the spectral inhabitants who refuse to be forgotten. But the curse of the Myrtle's Plantation is not just a thing of the past. It continues to this day. Over the years, the Myrtle's Plantation has been the epicenter of a myriad of spine-chilling incidents that stretch the limits of human comprehension. Located within the shadowy heart of Louisiana, this crumbling mansion has served as the backdrop for a multitude of sinister tales of the spectral realm, each narrative more blood-curdling than the last. It is whispered that every visitor to this forsaken place is doomed to experience something horrifying something that violently shakes our comprehension of reality. The Myrtle's Plantation is a sinister domain. It's a cursed spot where the echoes of an agonizing past meld with the living present, where the veil separating the living from the spectral is disturbingly translucent. Each decayed brick of the ancient structure is infused with the spectral echoes of its past inhabitants, the tormented souls who once dwelled within its decaying confines. The atmosphere is thick with untold horror stories, with secrets that claw their way up from their graves. Cloaked in the ominous mist of the Deep South, stories of ghostly revenants and bone-chilling phenomena have been woven into the very essence of its history. These grim tales are not figments of overactive imaginations, but are handed down through generations, each recounting further darkening the grotesque tapestry of its haunting folklore. Among the most infamous of these spectral residents is the Phantom of Chloe, a former slave. Her story is a harrowing one, a narrative of treachery, betrayal and bloodshed. It is believed that she is eternally condemned to roam the grounds, her spectral existence as integral to the Myrtle's plantation as the ancient gnarled oak trees that pepper the landscape. Her chilling presence is often accompanied by the scent of jasmine, her beloved flower. A sudden, inexplicable whiff of this delicate aroma is a dreaded omen of her proximity, an alarming glimpse into the spectral realm that coexists with ours. Equally eerie is the spectre of a young girl donning a green turban, whose otherworldly laughter reverberates through the desolate hallways. Her identity remains shrouded in mystery, yet her terrifying presence is irrefutable. An unexpected sight of her spectral form, a distant echo of childish chuckles, these serve as ominous indicators of the child spirit's proximity. Her laughter brings with it a paralyzing dread, a bone-chilling reminder of the plantation's ghostly denizens. However, it's not just these apparitions that send shivers down the spine. There have been accounts of baffling sounds that seem to emanate from thin air, the rustling of unseen spectres, the haunting melody of a long-abandoned lullaby, the groaning of ancient wooden floorboards under phantom weight, the disembodied whispers that pervade the silence of the night. These are the nightmarish sounds that augment the horrifying aura of the Myrtle's plantation. Sudden cold spots materialize out of thin air, triggering a wave of dread even in the most jaded visitor. A drastic plunge in temperature, an icy touch that makes the skin bristle, these are the phenomena that challenge rational explanation. They suggest the existence of ethereal entities, invisible forces that persistently haunt the plantation. These terrifying incidents intertwined with the plantation's turbulent past have convinced many that the Myrtle's plantation is arguably the most haunted location in America. It is a place that both intrigues and repels with its macabre tales. A place where the living and the dead coexist in a chilling cacophony, where every nook and cranny seems to conceal a terrifying secret. Unraveling these secrets and delving into the plantation's haunted history is a perilous quest that only the bravest dare to embark upon. Despite numerous investigations, the mystery of the Myrtle's plantation remains unresolved. The enigma of this historical landmark, located in St. Francisville, Louisiana, has intrigued a myriad of individuals over the years.
It is a fascinating tale that intertwines history, folklore, and the supernatural, all culminating in an unsolvable riddle that has enthralled the minds of investigators for decades. The plantation's past is steeped in tales of horror and tragedy. Built upon lands that were once home to Native Americans, it was established in 1796 by General David Bradford, also known as Whiskey Dave. The property changed hands several times, and with each new owner came new stories of death, hauntings, and unexplained phenomena that have fed the legend of the Myrtles Plantation. On this land, the ghosts of the past seem tethered, their stories echoing through the halls of the grand antebellum mansion that stands at its heart. Its elegant architecture, a rich tapestry of French Creole and Southern Georgian styles, hides a chilling history. It bears the weight of its past, one filled with tales of murder, betrayal and loss. Stories that seem to defy explanation, further deepening the mystery surrounding the plantation. Hordes of researchers and paranormal enthusiasts have ventured onto this cursed ground, hoping to unveil the truth behind its hauntings. They arrive, armed passion and curiosity, eager to delve into the plantation's storied past. Many have sought to uncover the secrets hidden within the walls of the majestic mansion to gain insight into the forces that continue to haunt this place. They've pored over countless documents, sifting through historical records and personal accounts in search of clues, every whisper of wind through the old magnolia trees, every creak of the ancient wooden floors, every shadow cast by the flickering candlelight is scrutinized, documented and debated. They have conducted night-long vigils, their senses heightened in the darkness, straining to hear the faintest sound, to see the slightest movement. These researchers have employed the latest technology in their quest for answers. Thermal imaging cameras to detect cold spots, electromagnetic field detectors to sense unseen energy, digital voice recorders to capture spectral communication, all at their disposal to unlock the secrets trapped within the haunted grounds. Yet, despite their diligent efforts, the plantation continues to guard its secrets. The spectral residents, it seems, are not ready to share their stories. Each new piece of evidence, every strange occurrence, seems to raise more questions than they answer. Thus the mystery persists, the plantation's secrets held tightly within its spectral grip, refusing to yield their truths to even the most persistent of investigators. The Myrtle's plantation continues to be shrouded its chilling past, casting a long and haunting shadow over its present. The whispers of the past remain, mingling with the southern breeze. They dance through the Spanish moss hanging from the ancient oak trees and echo in the silence of the star-filled Louisiana nights. They hold the truth of this haunted plantation, a truth that remains obstinately hidden, a truth that propels the mystery of the Myrtle's plantation into the realm of the unresolved. Despite countless attempts to penetrate the veil of its past, the Myrtle's plantation continues to hold its secrets. The whispers of the past persist, their chilling tales lingering in the present, ensuring the Myrtle's plantation remains an enigma a mystery that continues to captivate and haunt those who dare to explore its haunted grounds. As we conclude our journey through the Myrtle's plantation, the chilling echoes of its past continue to resonate. The haunting whispers of its spectral inhabitants persist, their stories etched into the very fabric of the grand antebellum mansion, their presence felt in every corner of the haunted grounds, the Myrtle's plantation, with its chilling history and unresolved mysteries, continues to captivate and terrify. Its spectral residents, unseen yet palpable, linger in the spaces between reality and the supernatural, their tales of horror and tragedy forever a part of the plantation's legacy. Whether you believe in the supernatural or not, the eerie tales and chilling incidents associated with the plantation are sure to send a shiver down your spine. Each creak of the ancient wooden floors, each whisper of wind through the old magnolia trees, each shadow cast by the flickering candlelight is a testament to its haunted past, a reminder of the spectral inhabitants that are said to roam its grounds. As we step away from the Myrtle's plantation, we leave with more questions than answers. The haunting echoes of its past continue to resonate. The spectral whispers persist. 
their chilling tales lingering in our minds. The mystery of the Myrtle's plantation remains, its secrets held tightly within its spectral grip, refusing to yield their truths. Thank you for joining us on this chilling journey through the Myrtle's plantation. We've delved into its storied past, explored its haunting grounds, and encountered its spectral residents. Yet we leave with the mystery still unresolved, the enigma of the Myrtle's plantation continuing to captivate and haunt us. Until next time, sleep tight. And remember, the Myrtle's Plantation awaits those who dare to uncover its secrets. Those who dare to listen to the whispers of its spectral inhabitants. Those who dare to step into its haunted grounds. But be warned, once you step into the world of the Myrtle's Plantation, you may never truly leave. Before we end this chilling journey, we have a small request. If you were captivated by the haunted history of the Myrtle's Plantation and found yourself lost in the spectral whispers of its unseen inhabitants, we encourage you to join us in our exploration of the terrifying and the unknown. If you enjoyed this episode of Terrifying Tales, please subscribe to our channel, allowing us to guide you through more uncanny narratives and haunting histories. Don't forget to hit the like button if this video sent chills down your spine. Your support helps us continue to bring these eerie tales to life. And we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Did you feel the spectral presence of the Myrtle's Plantation? Do you have your own chilling tales to share? We're eager to hear from you. Thank you for joining us on this eerie exploration. Until next time, stay curious, stay brave, and most importantly, stay terrified. Remember, the unknown awaits those who dare to uncover its secrets. Good night.